What's up fam, this is your big bro Joey, welcome back to the channel, much love and light to everybody out there, hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today, okay, I have another pick card reading for y'all, y'all know how we do over here, so today's reading is going to be what people notice the most about you, okay, so this is going to be a general reading, it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it, so um, if one pile doesn't resonate, you might want to watch the other ones. You know to check and see which one does resonate with you if it does okay if it doesn't apply you know let it fly okay so this is what people notice the most about you i'm going to be using the decks i'm going to be using today is a tarot trainer okay and i'm going to be using the urban archetypes deck and i will also be using some handmade uh features cards and stuff like that okay so Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Before we get started, let's go ahead and clear the energy. All right, and we're gonna have three different groups. The first group is gonna be the umbrella. Group number two is gonna be the palm tree. And group number three is gonna be the mermaid. All right, so we have group number one is gonna be the umbrella and paraguas. Um, the palm tree number two, la palma, number two. And number three, la sirena, the mermaid. That's number three, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it. Get on right on into uh, the umbrella. All right, if you guys have selected the umbrella, let me get my timestamp, 206. So if you guys have selected the umbrella, this is gonna be your reading. We're gonna be seeing um, what people notice the most about you, okay? Um, let me start off with some, let's start off with some archetypes cards. What do people notice the most about group number one right now, the umbrella? People notice about you guys that you guys are mature. We have the mature man. Does this is energy, but so it doesn't matter if you're male or female right here. Gender doesn't matter when it comes to energy, all right? So people, what they notice the most about you is that you you're very very mature, or you have a mature kind of appearance about yourself. Like you're not like um, I don't want to say youthful, but like you're you look mature. Like you have yourself well put together, or that's how you come off to people. People feel, a mature, people feel a mature or well put together vibe about yourself. Like you, you, you mean business. You are about your, you know, um, you ain't into playing games. You know what I'm saying? You're serious about what it is that you're serious about, right? When you come, when you step on the scene, you don't come to play no games. You feel me? And, they, and I feel like a lot of people find that like some people might find it intimidating. And some people find it like attractive, you know what I'm saying? They find it sexy because you will this sort of uh, power about yourself, a uh, confident power about yourself that you're sure about yourself, that you're secure about yourself and you're not trying to like find yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're, you don't have that energy where you're trying to find yourself and people, you know, um, they notice that about you too when they first meet you or when just in general, okay? We have workaholics. Some people, they notice the fact that you're willing to put in the work. You feel me? Whether it's on your job, whether it's on your uh, side hustle, if you have a side hustle, or whether it's in your personal life that you 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 will put in that work and you ain't going to complain about it. And you mean business, when, especially when it comes to, I'm hearing like for some of y'all, when it comes to your coins, you mean business, okay? And they notice that you, when it comes to your coins, don't play no games, you strictly business. You get the job done and you collecting your check, you collecting your bag, you know, and they, 
and people people notice that with you that you have a good head you have a good like business mindset with you you got a good head on your shoulder when it comes to making money when it comes to providing for yourself and providing for you know your family or whoever's your whoever's you know you're responsible for on the bottom of the deck we have breadwinner see so it's like people people notice that you you about your business you get your coin you get to the bag right that it's nothing for you to to find money making opportunities and find ways and you you're willing to go that extra mile and put in that hard work to get what you want. They notice that you're not the kind of person who's gonna wait for somebody else to do something for them. You're gonna do it for yourself if that's what you really want, right? They, There's something very unique about you that people notice. You stand out from the crowd. You're not like the other people, you know? You're not like everybody else. You stand out from the crowd. You got that X factor. You got that, that something about yourself that the average person might not have. But you got something about yourself that that guarantees you for success. And people know that even if you don't feel successful right now, people see that about you. People see that you have the resources, you have the foundation, right? You got that something within yourself, that genesis say quality within yourself that's going to take you far or that can take you far if you would allow it or if you want it to. OK, we also have athletic people. People notice that. You look like you got a lot of stamina. You know what I'm saying? You may be physically fit or you may just, uh, you may be toned or you may look like you work out. You may look like you healthy in that kind of way, active, or you may just look like you know how to carry your own weight, right? So it doesn't really matter if you're slim or thick or, you know, heavy or whatever. It doesn't matter. They, you look like the kind of person to whatever size, whatever size you are. You can, you, you know, you know how to rock with it, roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Lean with it. You can carry, you know how to carry your own weight is what I'm trying to say. You guys can carry your own weight and you know how to stick and move. <laughs> Where the hell is that coming from? You know how to stick and move, baby. You feel me? You got rebel. People feel like you do. You march to the beat of your own drum. You don't look to other people to, to, to validate you. You don't look to other people to tell you what to do how to do it, how to dress, how to talk, what pursuits to go after, what to think, how to, you, you don't look, you do your own thing and regardless uh, of if it goes against the crowd, you know? People look at you guys as innovators, like, oh, that person, let me, you have some people around you that look to you and say, oh, let me, let me see what they think. Let me see what they're gonna do because they know that you guys are gonna be the ones that's not following the crowds and you're gonna do your own thing. While everybody else around is following the crowds and doing what everybody else is doing, they know they can go to you and say, oh, let me check and see what they're doing because I know they're not going to be following the crowd, so they're going to give me a different perspective. So you inspire people, too, to stand up for themselves. And that's what people notice about you is, like, you don't care about what other people think. You just do what the hell you want to do, how you want to do it, you know? It's like whatever you feel, whatever is in your heart, whatever way you want to express yourself, that's what you're doing. That's how you express yourself. And it's okay. You let people know that it's okay to be them, regardless of who they are, what they like, what they're into, what their passions are, what they want to pursue, how they look, how they dress, how they sound, their ethnicity, their gender, their sexuality, whatever it is. You make people know, you inspire people to feel that it's okay to be whoever you are. Okay, because you're not a part of the crowd. You're not a, a follower. You're a leader. You know, people look at you. People notice about you, too, that there's even if you don't feel this way, there's some sort of dreamy aspects about yourself to where people just like will be able to fall in love with you instantly. You know, there's something about your character, something about your strength, something about your poise, you know, something about the way you stand, you know, the way you look. The way your body is built and shaped, you know what I'm saying? The way you walk even, the way you carry yourself. And I'm hearing just the way you talk is something about your words that you use or the tone of your voice that just captivates people, that gets them, you know, gets them in the mood, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that appeals to them. And, they, and you can appeal to people of different genders, of same sex genders and also the opposite sex, you know what I'm saying? People still... You can get people's attention, 
You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying that we have everybody running after you, which you very well might have everybody. You know, noticing that about you, whether they're straight, um, bi, gay, whatever it is, that people notice you in that kind of way. People just find something dreamy. They they're caught, even if they straight. It's like yeah, I know that person. You know, gets a lot of girls. I know. Or if it's a female, I know she gets a lot of, you know, men chasing her, you know. They just can pick up on that about you. And they just can feel that about you, you know. Let's pick up some appearances too. Things where people might notice what stands out about you. Earrings, rings, watches. You may have a specific type of jewelry that you wear. A specific type like necklaces, uh, rings, watches, earrings. Some some sort of accessories. It could be some hell. Some of y'all might wear crowns on your head. You know them tiara things. You know what I'm saying in your hair, or you may wear uh, chopsticks in your hair or some some something in your hair or something like that too for somebody. And people might notice that about you or feel that that's that stand that that stands you out. What am I trying to say? That sets you apart from the crowd. Eleven eleven. I just saw your nails. Something about your nails for the ones who are into their nails or have different types of nails like if you do your nails they may notice that about you right whether they're long or they're short they may notice something different about your nails you know and something makes you stand out when it comes to your your nails okay i think that's it that's it for that let me see what we got from the tarot So, yeah, you stand up for yourself, seven of wands. You guys stand up for yourself. You fight for what you believe in and people notice you. No, people see you as a strong individual, right? You're very, very protective and you can be defensive when you need to be defensive. And you are not petty with it, though. You take the high road in situations, but you stand up. You can hold your own in a fight. And people, I think people notice that strength, that, that oh, that person's not somebody to play with because they're not going to back down. You're not going to back them in the corner and they're not going to fight you back or get you up off of them, you know? We have King of Wands here, right? They notice that you have a high energy, high enthusiasm, you know what I'm saying? You, you have a lot of passion, a lot of fire within you. All right. And you and you, like I said before, you motivate people. You have a high confidence and there's something that's very, very highly charming about you. This is just confirming everything that we already said, you know, with the with the um, urban archetypes that. Yo. So, you guys, that's what I got for you guys for this group. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if this resonated for you, comment on the comment section and let me know how you feel about it. OK, we are going to move on to La Palma. Which is going to be number two. My timestamp is 1318. So if you selected number two, La Palma, this is going to be your reading. Let's go to clear the energy here. And we're going to be seeing what do people notice the most about you. Okay, I'm going to start off with some urban archetypes. What do people notice the most about group number two? What do people notice the most about group number two? I'm already getting out of this world. Even with La Palma, you guys stand out among the rest. You, you're not like, you stand proud and tall and you guys are very, very unique. People notice that about you. And that you guys are very, very resilient, okay? I'm getting very, very resilient. X Factor try to come out. But I think we have the overall energy for X Factor right there as well. Okay. So, people find, people notice that you're very, very like, um, you're very funny, right? You 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 can be a jokester when you want to be. You have a you have a good sense of humor. You know how to have fun. Like you don't take you don't take everything so seriously. Even though 
I feel like some of y'all, they notice that you have, you may have a dark sense of humor, and some of you guys have a light sense of humor. Some of you guys have a combination of both. Either way, you're looking at the brighter side of life, and you're and you looking to, you know, to take things a little easy or to have a little fun. You're not like all so serious, sour pickle face. You know what I'm saying? Um, you like to laugh. You know what I'm saying? You like to laugh and you like to make other people laugh. And people like that about you that when, if they're having a bad day, they could come to you and you can help them see the brighter side of life. And you can help them laugh and help them loosen up, you know, and help them tap into a, a lighter, uh, a lighter, um, less heavy type of energy, you know? Uh, you guys are, I'm here for some of y'all. People consider y'all life at a party. You just energetically have that vibe to where you, where you help people. Uh, relax, you help them, you know, just chill out and, and have a have a good laugh. Okay. Uh, we got star seed here. So this is saying that you know you guys stand out from the crowd. You guys are you, you guys are otherworldly. Uh, people notice that about you. Like there's something different about you. Like you don't feel like you're from here. You might be the kind of people that even in your home country, people may think you from somewhere else or may find you a bit exotic, you know? Um a bit foreign something about you is foreign is different you know but it's the fact that you guys are star seeds right you are not really you know your essence is not really from this planet or from this realm you know that you have other worldly or other galaxy or whatever you call it you got them kind of vibes about yourself you know what i'm saying et phone home vibes i don't know but yeah you guys got um kind of uh power or aura about yourself that people know that you're connected to the universe you have that natural connection people feel like you you're tapped in tuned in automatically that you got a high intuition and that there's people know when they see you they just notice it's something different about you some people can't put their finger on it because they're not you know they don't know you like that but they know automatically there's something different about you in this group. We got high key people. People notice the fact that you have respect for yourself. You hold your head up high. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like a lot of people put y'all up on pedestals based on how you look. Some people may call you bougie. You, you may not consider yourself bougie, but people call you that. Okay. They notice that there's something high class about you. There's something that is... Um, high quality about you, whether it's, you know, hell, your style, your fashion, your um, your attitude, your 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 characteristics, your persona, who you are, you know, it's, it's a bit of a higher level, uh, higher echelon is what I'm hearing for some people. Some people may notice and they may feel like you come from money or you just have that kind of um, spark or je ne sais quoi about yourself. You got that thing. You got that something that you know the normal people don't have you know and you may get a lot of people hating on you just because of that because they put you up on a pedestal they automatically see you as royalty you have this royal air about yourself and they notice that they notice um that you like come come into the room you have a natural crown that sits on top of your head you feel me like you have a natural elegance about yourself people notice okay people find you as mysterious they notice there's something about you. They can't figure you out. I feel like people rack their brain trying to figure you out, but they can't figure you out. There's something, there's always going to be something about you because especially, especially with the star seed vibe, there's always something about you that you're elevating, you're changing, right? So it's like, as soon as they feel like they figured you out, they find out that they don't really know you like how they thought they knew you, you know? <laughs> But yeah, they find you very, very mysterious, mysterious and intriguing. I feel like it's a, it's an intriguing that draws people to you, that makes them want to know you better, that makes them want to talk to you, that makes them want to find out just who you are. Okay, that makes them want to solve the puzzle, solve the mystery that's surrounding you. Right? People uh, notice that you guys are a free spirit. You march to the beat of your own drum. You just go with the flow. I'm hearing fluid, what is that shit called? Fluid sexuality for some people. Like you view things a little differently than other people view them. You don't, 
I'm hearing even just an open mind period about life in general, about everything in life, that you guys are the least judgmental out of the people that are around you. And people know, people notice about you that they could come to you and talk to you and tell you about their issues, their problems, and you're not going to judge them. You're not going to say, oh my God, da, 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 or put yourself, or, or say that even though you have this royal kind of, you know, per, uh, uh, air about yourself, that you are so humble. And that you don't limit yourself. Uh, people notice about you guys that you don't, you don't limit yourself and you don't allow other people to limit you. You're just free. You go with the flow. You're just like, hey, it is what it is. I'm open to the universe. Um, I'm open to where God guides me. I'm open to learning. I feel like with star scene energy and free spirit, you guys have been here. You've had many, many different lives on this earth. So therefore, you are a bit different. <laughs> As if I can say, you are a bit different. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know a lot, even without knowing a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, which, on the bottom, people notice the fact that you may have witchy vibes, even if you're not a witch. And what I mean by that is like that they feel like there's a certain energy that's surrounding you, okay? There's a certain energy that's surrounding you that's able to manifest and create. That's able to, to, to co-create with the universe, right? With ease. Without even having to to do a ritual, you can just put thoughts out there. You can because it's energy work. At the end of the day, you feel me. This is just a label that we put on it, or the label that some people adhere to, or some people answer to, or or or, or they go by. You know. But they feel people feel like <laughs> I'm getting people notice that you're not the one to be crossed. Because they feel like if they cross you, they may get crossed. They may get hexed. Something may happen. They, you may have uh, divine protectors that may be protecting you. And, 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 you know, some shit might fall on top of their head. I don't know, you know. But people notice that about you. Let's get some characteristics or, 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 or uh, what do you call this? Appearances. What else would they notice? You guys may, some of y'all may have blue eyes or you may have colored eyes or something about your eyes. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be blue. They could just be something about the eyes, the eye shape. You know, you may have beautiful almond eyes. You may have circle eyes. You may have nice large eyes. You know what I'm saying? You may have different types of eyes. Shit. It, they notice your eyes, you know? There's something about your eyes that draws people in mesmerizes people even and that's part part partially why they feel like you got witchy vibes because something about you that just draws people in you know different walks of lives different classes you know they could be rich they could be poor they could be in between uh any kind of gender any kind of sexuality any kind of religion any kind of you know mindset you guys just people just are drawn to you and as soon as they look into your eyes or look at your eyes it's like they're instantly hooked like something hooks them and pull draws them in so the, your eyes stand out you guys some of you guys may have eyes that change in the sunlight you know like my mind change in the sunlight you know like it changes different colors you feel me but some of y'all may have something like that going on too you feel me um they may some of you guys may consider yourself that you just like, I'm just an average looking person, da, 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 da. but people are attracted to your looks, okay? Regardless if you if you consider your looks as average or whatnot, people are attracted to the way that you look. There's something unique about the way that you look. People feel like you have a nice smile. They love your smile. Your smile captivates people and draws them in, and it's something that, that makes you stand out from the people that are around you. So I'm just mesmerizing about the way you smile okay let's get a tarot some tarot here oh people people feel like you guys wield power especially with this um with this high key energy with this high key energy right here this emperor is just confirming it you guys people people look at you as superior okay they look at you as 
as upper echelon, higher level authority figure even. They may look at you like, oh, they, if they they going on the job, oh, that person must be the supervisor. Even if you're not the supervisor, you just have this sort of air about yourself, you know, that you guys are, are here to do something huge or that you guys are somebody who's destined for that or you already are somebody that's destined to to have things, to to conquer, to to achieve, to receive, you know, to have a lot of stability, security, you know. Um, some of you guys, they may view you guys as having a lot of money. Even if you don't feel like you got a lot of money, they may look at you like there's something about you, some air about you that 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 uh, gives off that kind of, you know, vibe. Okay, we got Knight of Pentacles. People view you as somebody who is very, very patient, very, very responsible. They notice that about you and they like the fact that you're, you're down to earth. You have common sense, right? You're not somebody who's head is in the clouds or who run around here talking crazy you are the voice of reason that i'm hearing and i feel like people come to you for assistance come to you for your advice come to you for your knowledge okay because they know that you're going to give them something that's based off of common sense right and that people people notice that that regardless of how long something takes in your life that you're going to keep doing it you're going to keep going until you actually achieve it okay so that's what I got for you guys in this group. We are going to move on to the last group. Last but not least. La Sirena, the mermaid. Where are we at? 26, 26, Okay, so if you guys have selected the mermaid, this is going to be your reading. We're going to see what people notice the most about you, okay? What do people notice the most about group three? But you guys, people may people may notice that you guys may have what I call resting bitch face. You know what I'm saying? You may people may think that you're pessimistic or you um, are a bit dark within your nature. Okay, um, that might be true, might not. Man, might be true, might not be true. You feel me? But people people notice that sometimes you're a bit pessimistic. Or you're not like you're not. Um, what is it? You may not be as expressive, like you may not wear your heart on your sh on your show sleeves, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, that you might not um, wear your expressions on your face, like you may not like if they're looking at you. They may not be able to tell how you're feeling, what you're thinking, because you don't outwardly, you know, display what you're thinking on your face for everybody to see. You may have, like I said, you guys may have resting bitch face, and they may notice that about you. But they notice that uh, people may think that you're hiding your true feelings, you know, or that just may be just how you are. You keep things, you know, to yourself. You feel me? Some people, okay, may find you to be a flirt, okay? They may find, it could be, this could be involuntary things that you do or voluntary things that you do. You might not even know that you're doing it or some of y'all might know that you're doing it or you just... That just may be how you naturally are. You get along with everybody and you act, a, you know, you're open and friendly to everybody. And some people might take it as flirting, but some of y'all might actually be out there flirting, right? These people notice that you guys are a flirt. Like I said, whether it's something that you do intentionally or something that you're doing unintentionally, okay? They find you guys, they notice you guys are on are young spirited, okay? Like you still have a lot of, you know, joie de vivre. You got a lot of life going on. You got a lot of fire, a lot of passion. You know, you got a lot of light to give regardless of your age. You haven't given up your youthful spirit. You're still out here vivacious, living your life, you know, having a good time, smiling, laughing. You know, you may keep up with, uh, uh, I don't want to say appearances, but that came to my mind. Keep Keeping up with appearances. You may keep up with the times when it comes to fashion, when it comes to music. You may be that if you're older, you may be that hip mom, hip dad. 
hip grandfather, hip grandmother, you know, that that's up on the current events and all that stuff like that. Um, people notice you as somebody as focused, right? That like you're not scatterbrained. You, when you have something that you want to do, you focus on it and you do it. You tone you, and some people may even see that as tunnel vision. And some people view like you focus a lot, and they view that as like, oh, like when you have this blank, you may go, you may be the kind of person that's in the store that you know exactly what you want, and you're gonna be lining to whatever it is that you want, and you 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 focus, and people may automatically think, oh, this person is either preoccupied. They mean they detached or something like that, but it's no, no, is that you're focused. You got stuff on your mind, and when you got stuff on your mind, that's what you're thinking about, right? You have kind of they notice that you might have tunnel vision for some of y'all, you know, when it comes to the things that you want to do or things that you're doing. Okay, we got peacekeeper people notice that y'all like y'all don't like no drama. You feel me? You don't want to be arguing with nobody, you don't want to be having no fights with nobody, you just want to live your life and be free and be calm and be at peace and just relax and just chill you know you guys may have this calming effect that's around you too y'all don't like you guys are not you they notice y'all don't like being in everybody's faces you know you don't like being all caught up in the mix up caught up in what the hell somebody else is doing you just mind your own business and stay to yourself and just keep the peace and just be at peace People notice, with fling, people notice that a lot of people might find you attractive, may find you sexy, may find that a lot of people may get turned on by you, or may get excited excited by you, you know, or this might not be for everybody, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if this don't fit you, then let it pass through, you feel me? But yo, some of y'all, people, they look at you as somebody that they like to have sex with, or they can see them have self having sex with, or that you, you bring that, you, some people may find <laughs> Even when you're not trying, people may people may feel like, oh my God, she's sexy. Oh my God, he's sexy. Da, 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 you know, and you may not even be on that, but there's something about you, some sort of like, I'm hearing for some people. If you come off as unattainable, that makes people want you more. Okay, uh, low key, people notice that you say to yourself. We said that already here. You stay to yourself. You keep the peace. You're not in everybody's face. You have this. You don't like attention like that. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just yourself. You don't want, you want to be in anybody's face and anybody's business. And you damn sure don't want everybody in your business. You feel me? And I feel like you avoid drama. Okay. And people notice that about you, that you avoid any kind of drama. You just, you just stay to yourself. You're not, you're not with all the foolishness. Okay. And I feel like, and people notice, and I feel like they uh, notice that you guys, Stay away or you cut off any anything that's bringing you drama. You just go the other way. You're like, no, I'm not. This is not for me. Something else they may notice about you. They may notice your feet. Yeah, they may notice your feet size, um, whether they're large, medium, small. But they may notice your feet. Something about your feet that they may notice, okay? They may notice that you guys are have an even proportion body. Y'all know how some people is like top heavy. Some people might be bottom heavy, you know? People may notice, this is for those who this applies, so they may notice something about your body, you know? It doesn't even have to be even proportion. It just could be something about your body to them that stands out, okay? How it's shaped, how you're built, you know? Your looks, okay? You guys may have looks that are, that y'all may look smart. And people, even if you don't think you're smart, even if you're not smart, I'm not here to debate that, but people may feel that you look smart and that's what they notice about you. They notice that you look like an intelligent person and they notice your intelligence right up offhand. Even after some people talk to you, they may talk to you and notice that you guys are, are intelligent, you know? They may notice too about your weight. Your weight may stand out to people. It could be like that you maintain your weight you know, or that you look like you take care of yourself, you take care of your body, you know, and you're not out here just letting your body waste away like a lot of us do. What else we got? Ooh. 
We got two of pentacles. They notice that you guys are, are balanced, right? That you, you, you get things done. You're very, very resourceful. And that you're flexible. You just go with the flow. You're not trying to buck the system. You're not trying to cause chaos and confusion. You're not trying to cause arguments. You're not trying to be opposition. None of that. You just balance out your life and go about your business. You feel me? They see you with somebody. People uh, um, notice about you that you guys are like very, very happy. You feel me? You they They look at you as somebody who... Or they notice about you that you're somebody who you normally usually get what you want in life. All right. You're very, very satisfied. You're successful. You have prosperity around you and you're very, very content. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't have prosperity and success, they notice that about you that you have that potential within you. Right. Eight of Cups. They, they notice that you are somebody, like I said before, that you don't like negativity. You walk away from negativity. Like I said before, like you're not with that drama. This is just confirmation here that ain't nothing for you to let go and move past stuff, right? If, if, if when you're fed up with stuff, you walk away. You're not going to be that person, you know, who just hangs around forever and staying in a situation knowing that it ain't healthy. You move around. You move out of the way and you move on towards your happiness or what makes you happy or what brings peace in your life, okay? So that's what I got for you guys for this group. Like the video, please, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if this resonated, please comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to everybody here. And thank y'all so much for joining me today. And I really, really appreciate you guys for being here, okay? Thank y'all so much. Take care. Ciao.